Hi guys, it's Geek Speak, and today we have a very, very special guest. I'm super excited. You're going to meet him in one minute. You know who I am, Pip with Seymour Digital Media. I'm going to bring on Greg, and this is... Hey everyone, I'm Greg. Um, I run Original 72 Creative, and we're a full-service website, graphic design, and digital marketing firm in Vancouver. Right, and this is... Hi, Pep. Hello, everyone. My name is Ozer from SF Digital Studios in the UK. And we have a digital marketing agency um, where we help customers go from concept to campaigns. Yeah. And together today, we're going to talk about YouTube ads. I'm super excited. This is going to be a learning kind of thing for everybody. But let me first say hello to Lorna, Gaynor, David, Greg, and... Phelan. Thanks guys for joining us. Uh, super exciting. We love talking about this stuff. And because we have a special guest, I don't know if you know, he's got over 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yes, I am a little envious. Um, but so go check him out on YouTube. You can learn a lot. And I will just say he's also my personal coach when it comes to Google ads. So uh, we're so fortunate because there's a lot to learn. Anyway, let's get down to it. Um, Oh, oh, I got it. Where are my notes? They're hidden. Okay, so we're going to talk about how easy is it to get started. Oh, hold on. I got to move things. You guys know how it is. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to learn about how to get started easily. We're going to talk about uh, one gentleman's journey into this space so you know you can do it and what you can achieve with the YouTube ads. So, Let's get into it. Tell us how easy it is. is that... It can be as easy as you want to be or as complicated as you want to be. Uh, a lot of people, before they uh, try to walk, they want to run. And that's where they fall over. Uh, I want to keep things super simple, as many of you may well know. Um, I've got camera equipment coming out of my ears. Um, you name it, I've got lenses and camera bodies, but all I now use is my smartphone for creating videos because it's always with me. And it's super quick, super simple um, to shoot. Are you actually taking some of the video on the smartphone and doing the editing on the smartphone? Or do you yes. do the filming on the smartphone and then pull it into something to, to add? Uh, you can do both uh, ways. Uh, you can shoot and then edit on your desktop. Or if you use something like Adobe Rush, which I absolutely have fallen in love with, mm. amazing piece of app. You can pretty much do anything you want on your uh, smartphone. In fact, uh, Pip, uh, remind me to send you a little video which you have shot and fully edited on the iPhone. Ooh. So, so, yes, this week I was at an event in YouTube. So I shot some footage on the way back home on the train. I finished that editing within like 15, 20 minutes. We put my logo on it, music, B-roll, everything how so did you have your own b-roll well i shot it all the footage on there okay. and yeah so it's on the phone let's yeah. explain b-roll quickly what is yeah. b-roll so b-roll is um so we got a roll which when i'm talking to the camera that's the main video okay. and then if you want to show some uh, scenes or shots of people working in the office or any other interesting um, video footage to go over my voice, but my voice is still being uh, played. That's what we call a, a bureau. Ah, okay. And so if I'm just getting started with, with YouTube ads, how... Yeah. Um, because YouTube it, ads, did you say? Oh, YouTube, YouTube video, well, oh, videos. Videos, yeah. Uh, videos, yeah. You can turn those videos into ads, yes? No? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. People do that? Yeah. Oh, that's the best way to reach out and get in front of your targeted audience. Um, if you are creating content, it's very frustrating when you see that there's hardly any views. That means nobody's finding you mm. or looking at your videos. And you're working hard, you're spending money, time, effort, and you get disheartened, discouraged, and then 
you know, you give up. It's like going to the gym. You go continuously five days a week, and then you said, oh, "I'm still not getting fit or losing weight. I'm going to give up yeah. because this this gym is a scam. <laughs> I'm wasting money." Um, and this is exactly what happens with videos. Um, first of all, the biggest barrier is yourself. You know, people are still very shy in coming in front of your in the in front of the camera. Um, or the or the smartphone, uh, which you just need to get over it. Um, and I hear all this stuff. Oh, I hate myself uh, looking at my own videos and listening to myself. Well, why are you sitting there listening to yourself? Other people are listening. I never li watch my own videos. Yeah. This is exactly why we have uh, a go live Sunday in our group, so people can go live in the group and practice, you know, being on camera. Yeah. You know, before they actually go and make their own videos or do it yeah. on their own page, they can do yeah. it in the group and get feedback. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips and some bits and pieces as to what I use to create videos on the fly effortlessly without any frustration. Oh, I like that. I like Sounds good? So hold on one sec. We have to say hello to Karen, uh, Lorraine, Lorna, and, and another Karen. Um, now, Lorraine is asked, sorry, Lorna's asking a question. Um, she's asking if that app works on Android too. Yes. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. I want the tips. So, if I'm just getting started with YouTube, or say I have, like I have 80 subscribers, I put up a YouTube video from Facebook that we do every week. Nope. Yeah. Nobody's seeing them. Mm. How, what do I do next? Ooh. Okay, so first of all, you need to optimize them for, so there's two ways to get your views. First is organic, other is paid, right? Okay. Organic is you need to optimize it first. Now, lots of people will say you need to t put the keywords in the title, description, and tags. Now, if every Tom, Dick, and Harry is doing that, then all of them should be on bloody number one on YouTube, okay. but you won't because there's only one spot on YouTube right at the top or about you know how many 20 25 videos it shows why is your video ranked 200 or 300 when nobody is finding it is because there is no engagement there's no interest and google youtube is not showing your video on the right hand side under the suggested videos that's when the fun and games really begin and you start to get people start to find you because they are looking at somebody else's video and all of a sudden your video is relevant to that video and it starts popping up in other people's feeds and they'll say, oh, what's this? I'm going to click on it. So to get the click on those suggested videos, you need to have a, a an attractive um, uh, a thumbnail. Yeah. And by attractive, I don't mean a pretty face or, you know, I put my headshot on that. So I just brand it in such a way that when people see it, oh, I saw that guy in some other video, same guy, I'm going to see what he was to say uh, about it. So the branding is very important. Keep it consistent with your color scheme or fonts and logos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so that's one way, right? So if you know, if your channel is very new and you want instant results, and we all want instant results, you know, we get hungry, we go to McDonald's, within five minutes we've got our food on the table. Right. Run ads. Is the cheapest, fastest, most economical way to start uh, earning money because you are definitely going to get more leads and customers. And here's why. I can target. So let's say somebody goes to Google mm -hmm. and searches for web designer Toronto. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. And Greg is a web designer and say he's in Toronto, he can place his ad in front of the person in YouTube. And we call that custom intent because those keywords which somebody has searched on Google, you can target them on, oh, sorry, on Google, you can target them on YouTube. So I go in to YouTube to watch a football video or a golfing or cooking or whatever it may be. Your ad can potentially come up in front of that skip ads, you know, the five five second ads which yeah. come up. And all of a sudden, I'm thinking, oh, I just, I was searching for a web designer a few minutes ago or yesterday, and all of a sudden, I've got a web designer's ad in front of me. 
So is this inside Different. Google Ads inside when you're doing the... Um, yeah, you set up a video campaign. Yeah, and you set up a video campaign, but you're you're setting up your audiences too. Um, so it, yeah. you're not just observing, it's targeted. No, it's targeting. Yeah. yeah. It's the called the it's called CIA. It's the you like the age. Okay, say that again because you cut out for some reason. It's oh no. The custom in Intent audience. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're kind of back. You're kind of going in and out. Say it again. Ah. Um, oh, can you, audience. Can, custom intent audience. CIA. Yeah. Anyone, whatever searches somebody has made on Google, you can target them on YouTube. Mm. Very powerful. That is very powerful. And so tell us, like, because how long have you had a YouTube channel? Not that long. No. And Two you, years. Okay. I had it for a long time doing nothing. And all of, in December 2017, I decided, okay, um, what the way I'm marketing my business is I'm not enjoying it, first of all, and it's not working. Mm. Uh, I used to go to a lot of business networking events, right? And I see the same people all, all the different places. And they, I knew it, that they're not my target audience. And I'm wasting my time. Every time I go there, I'm wasting four hours and coming back to my office and then trying to you know sell over there i thought oh enough is enough i um, need to do something different so i thought okay i'm going to try video marketing because lots of gurus and experts and marketers are going on about how video is the best thing since sliced bread yeah it's true. So i was nervous yeah i was nervous how are people going to perceive me accept me there are so many other experts on google ads why would they listen to me right i'm not saying that i'm an expert i'm just showcasing and teaching people what i do for my own business mm -hmm. and what i've learned myself so do, you don't need to be a, a a top dog or a guru to get a channel started you be honest be yourself don't try to be somebody else right and that's what i did i said i looked at all the competition what were they doing and one thing which i noticed is they were just re recording their screen they weren't putting the face on the video like you've seen pip my videos yeah, yeah. i'm in the little corner on the right hand, bottom right hand corner that's why i've got the green screen behind me now right now we painted the wall yeah <laughs> um, um and i put myself on it on the video yeah and all of a sudden people saw me and they started to trust me. I came across as genuine because I am. I don't want to bullshit and say things which are not true or incorrect. And I tell them the way it is. Yeah. And all of a sudden, within weeks, I started to get views. And I gave myself a challenge, first of all. A 90-day video marketing challenge. To upload one video a day for 90 days, okay. no matter what. Wow. Now, wait a sec. So that's a lot. How much time did that take you? Because cause lot, shoot lot. Is, is, is one thing. And then like to edit it, yeah. it's hard. Or... Yeah, it was very tough. And also don't forget that you got your business to run as well on top, right? Yeah. So it was very challenging. Yeah, I, I uploaded about 78 videos or so. I didn't manage 90 quite because I got so busy with work. Yeah. Right? So I told myself, no matter what, I'm going to keep going. Even if I don't get a like, share, dislike, comment, uh, dislike, you know, somebody trolling me, I'm going to carry on doing it mm -hmm. and then see what happens. Because you will not get what's going to happen after four or five videos. If this was so easy, the whole world will be doing it. Mm -hmm. True. Right? True. So you've got to just keep going. So how and then out the 90 videos like or did you plan Sorry? out did you plan out yeah so i literally had zero knowledge i had no idea what i'm going to make nine if you think about it 90 videos is a lot yeah yeah so different topics subjects and all that I was like, what the hell am i going to do i've given myself this challenge what i'm going to do anyhow it's a new year new resolution right like we all have 
So that was my resolution in January 2018. Okay. So I had, uh, I had some goals, and the first goal was to I want to reach <laughs> 10,000 subscribers, not 100 or 1,000. I want to reach 10,000 subscribers in two years. Guess what? Just the first December, January, just last month, I reached 10,000. And me and my little... Hmm? Did it change your business? It's changed our business, completely changed, for the better, obviously, completely. And this is why I'm doing it, still doing it, yeah. right? And it's fun. Otherwise, I would be... Oh, it's, it's great fun. It's, it's, I love it. Um, and I'll come on to that as to how it has affected and where we are heading now. But going back to this challenge, I carried on uploading videos, and within a matter of weeks, I started to get really nice emails and comments on my YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so much. You are sharing it. You know, uh, nobody is showing us. Everybody wants to sell on YouTube that they don't give you the full story. They want to just give a little bit and then, oh, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. I don't want to do that. If they want to come to me, yes, I'm here if they wish to hire me. But I will tell them how it is from A to Z, set up the campaign and get started on YouTube. So when you have those likes or because you have like you can see viewer count on YouTube, right? Can you still see viewer? Yeah, so, you can hide it as well. OK, if you if you uh, do paid ads, it's not it, all that viewer count is added together. It's not because some people look at viewer count and be like, oh, this has to be a good video because lots of people have viewed it. Right. You think? Yeah. But then if there's um, let's say 200,000 views and three likes. Mm. then you know that they purchased or bought it. I never do that. Right. Never, because you'll get suspended. Oh, yeah. So you're doing something naughty, no, don't do that. Right. right. Yeah. So, and it's not about the numbers, actually. I wasn't too fussed about how many thousands of views I get. I just wanted more customers. Yeah. I mean, if I get 100 views and five customers, I'm happy. Right. Who cares? Or thousands of views. I will tell you. So I do a Facebook Live every week. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Sometimes I do three because depending on what what's going on, and I am I am scared to do YouTube. I just I'll upload these, but I just think I'm supposed to be this super professional, like with like B roll and all this stuff. And so this is not the way it is, right? I so in the beginning I had no clue, no workflow what to use, how to do things, and I just learned as I went along. So one day I, I made a really nice video, which I was really pleased with. It took me about four or five hours. It was quite a long video. And I set up the color temperature in the wrong setting. So I was looking completely orange and yellow, right? <laughs> For the tungsten lighting, I set it up. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I have to do this all over again. I said, saw this, I'm not doing it, I'm going to upload it. That has go, has been my one of my best videos with, I think, 70,000 views or something like that. Wow. Okay. So people don't care how you look. Mm. They want the content. They want, and so not, what do you think? Do you think, so there's the option to do like 20 minutes or longer if if you check out Google or uh, YouTube's yeah, uh, yeah, filter? Yeah. So shorter? Or yeah. Everybody will say different things, oh. right? So what I'm doing now is a combination of both. I have two minute little uh, branding videos where I'm just on the fly, shooting with my iPhone, putting up a message. You can do that pretty much right now. Within two seconds, you can think of a little topic or if you come up across a topic on a blog or Reddit or Quora, just shoot a little video and you've got that two minute, three minute video straight away. Um, and then some of them are eight to 10 minutes, but my longest videos, I don't make it more than 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it seems long. I just want that information, right? That here's yeah. an SEO kind of question for you uh, to put you on the spot. But you seem to get found in regular Google search results, not just in YouTube. Yeah. How are you doing that? Ooh. Okay, so if I tell you, I'll have to kill you for I reckon <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> so, secret stuff we're about thing, to hear. so video SEO is really important, extremely important. No, just do the video and say, yeah, I've done my job. No, you've got to push it out there. So then we push it out on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Quora, uh, Reddit, Medium, 
Um, where else? Uh, Pinterest. Pinterest is really, really good. Okay. Okay. Oh. Lots of, yeah, really good Pinterest. I mean, any SEO person will say, you got to go on Pinterest the for so SEO. The social media examiner used to do Pinterest and they backed away because they were, they weren't getting any sales from it. But, so. Yeah, but I'm I'm uh, yeah, but I'm not looking from direct uh, call to action. I don't want to sell directly. I want to build up that trust. Uh, my videos are top of the funnel. Mm -hmm. If you don't know me, you're not going to like me, and then you're not going to buy from me. So the first step is you got to to know someone. You know, before you jump into bed with someone, you got to know them. Unless, of course, you're drunk and you want a one night stand. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> Maybe some player. Right. <laughs> so, okay. So, how long does it take the share strategy? It sounds so. It sounds like there's a YouTube strategy. Yes. Filming, yeah. editing, and then there's yeah. a share strategy. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Syndicating it. Yes. How That's long right. Does that take you think? Um, we have a hundred and nine step workflow. So every piece of video has got hundred and nine things on a checklist to be checked off. Right now, you build that over time, right? So that's like yes. Put yeah. in the head, so you, and you do you have a little segment like you have a little music and like the logo. Did you buy that? Like did because I know a lot of people yeah. I got it designed. I got it designed long time ago, and I'm still using it two years later. Oh. The intro, the lower third. Okay. That's what you mean. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's all right. You can get it for ten bucks. Okay, you gotta ha give us a link to where we can get it. So I need to say, Lorna, um, Chris, Mona are here. Lorna has got a question, which is, what about Instagram? Do you share on Instagram? Yeah, of course. Yeah, into, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I missed that out. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Business or personal or both? Oh. I have business, so I don't use personally. Okay. So yeah, if you got personal, if you want to use it, wherever you want, you it's up to you. But you show us. Send it out, and those social signals do matter. Mm -hmm. YouTube and Google look at these. Yeah. Well, you can see when you share a link on YouTube, you can see it in Search Console as like a link. Like it's actually a backlink, right? So they count it. Yeah. They don't count some other ones, but they count YouTube for some reason. So that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Yeah, and YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google, which Google owns. Well, how many of us definitely go to YouTube to learn anything we're doing? We're all, you know, we're all marketers, but I mean, marketing changes so fast and there's always something yeah. more to learn, a new button to push that uh, you, I mean, I'm really interested in the YouTube stuff because, you know, it is part of the product offering in Google yeah. suite of, of sellable products, right? If you yeah, I, yeah, I absolutely love YouTube. I wish I had started a long time ago, but hey ho, doesn't matter, you know. But you got to start, otherwise you don't know what you're missing out on big time. Literally, I mean, it's free traffic. Right. I am in a little town in Leighton Buzzard. It's a very sleepy town, oh. and I'm reaching out to the world. I've got more clients now overseas oh. than in the UK from all over the world. And I'm here on my desk every day. I do not go out knocking on doors, cold calling, uh, asking for business. Because when people come to you, they are hot leads. Mm, yeah. And the conversion rates are very, very high. So what I do is, why do I keep on uploading? <laughs> eh? I thought I was just good. I didn't think yeah. you're so right, though. It is. They are hot leads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other... Um, thing is everyone wants to improve and increase their business turnover profitability and so on right so when you want to scale the business the first thing you need to do is to have a bigger team so maybe maybe perhaps less a sales team you need sales rep to go out and get you more business mm -hmm. right now most business owners or small business owners can't afford a salesperson full-time or even if they are on commission, they will take a huge chunk of that commission. Uh, them, uh, they have to pay that out. I consider these little videos as my sales rep. The more they are out there, the more hustle they are doing. Because if you, if I'm getting 10,000 impressions a day, that means I have reached out to 10,000 people yeah. in a day. 
That's how I look at it. Andrew. Now, out of those out of those ten thousand, I need let's say hundred click, a very very minute click through rate. Somebody checked it out. Oh, who is this person? Let me check it out. Yeah, he he talks sense or he I like what he's saying. Hmm. Out of those hundred, maybe ten will inquire or five may inquire, and out of those five, maybe one or two may convert. Okay. That's how I look. And you're getting them to sign up like a lead form, yeah? I have leads, yeah, absolutely. I have leads. I have, um, we've just revamped our website. We put in a, a link for WhatsApp. I get a lot of messages on WhatsApp. So they are connecting with me. Yeah, that's really interesting you're using WhatsApp because I think that's like, I think that's a great place to be mm. marketing. No, okay, so we got a YouTube channel. We've taken some video. We're putting it up. So how do I get to that first page? Like, how am I, do I, am I using keywords? Am I making a long description? Am I, you know? So, okay. So for any organic rankings, okay. be it in Google search or YouTube search, it's kind of like a boxing match. The strongest and the fittest survives and stays at the top. Okay. And here's why. If, Pip, if me and you are direct competitors and I see your video link above mine, I'm going to tell my SEO guy, Oh, why is she up above me? I need to knock her down and I want to be at the top. Mm -hmm. When you see my link above yours, you're going to do the same thing. Oh, why is he above me? I need to, then you're going to start working harder yeah. and becoming, and then the the boxing has started. The match has started, right? It's it is true because there's only one space, number one, uh, uh, one, one spot. Yeah. And then others, so, Reaching number one is the easy bit. Staying top is the hard bit. Whether it's a sport, in any sports, tennis, golf, football, you become world number one, the whole world wants to knock, knock you down. Want and so some of the things that you're actually doing to get back on top or get to that spot are, for example, what? Yeah. No, so you've got to maintain your... So what, so what are, are you what are you actually doing to, what, to putting the same content over and over again? Oh. So making my channel more stronger because so I'm another video or or are, you, or are you going into one of your videos and tweaking anything in there? You, you can the you can do that as well where you can say okay I'm going to change the title or the description or whatever but you Let's say you created a video on Google, how to set up Google Ads 2019. Yeah. The same video can be remade into how to make, uh, how to set up Google Ads campaign 2020. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's a new content. Because more people are want to, when you go to YouTube, you will have a look. When was that uploaded? If it was uploaded three years ago, you're not going to click on it. Yeah. But if you think, oh, three days ago, bang, you got the click. Well, especially for marketing, because not only will the platforms look Maybe exactly. Friend. Yeah. Like, changes. I, I don't know if you guys find it irritating too, but the like yeah. following along in a video and then yeah. you're like, well, that button's not there. Not there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right? That so doesn't just, bother me too much because I can figure out in the new yeah. software where things are, but I do completely yeah. look at when videos were updated and click on the most recent one. Yeah. It's so interesting. Okay, we are running out of time. Actually, we've run out of time, but guys, we're staying on longer today because we got our special guest. If you got to go, I get it. Um, Thank you. Couple more quick questions. Greg, do you have any questions for him that we want to? Yeah. I guess, uh, you know, my questions are probably easier. Like, um, how many videos do you suggest people put up? And how often? Like, does it depend on what you're doing? Or, you know, like a lot of, for example, a lot of customers that I work with, if I'm suggesting they get on YouTube and do some videos, they're maybe able to do one video a month. Yeah. Is that really going to impact anything? Or do you really need a strategy of one per week? Or it's just a, I have a simple, simple analogy for this. If you want to get stronger, fitter, lose weight, achieve your goals, and you want to go to the gym, and you go once a month, Love compared to going five five day, uh, five times a week, or five, you know, once a day, 
you're going to achieve those results very quicker. So how fast do you want to reach your goals? Yeah. That's exactly what I will tell you. So David's asking a question. He says, do you fill up the description field below each video? Yeah, absolutely. Are you, are specific. you out to all your stuff, like your Pinterest, your Facebook, your... As well, yes. Okay. And also keyword. Um, so don't spam keywords in that YouTube and Google obviously doesn't like it, but make a descriptive uh, description. The, a little tip which I would do is when I'm creating a video, especially a workflow video, I'm saying those words like Google ads, Google display network, keywords, ad groups, ads, all these, right? You transcribe it and then put that in your description. Interesting. So it's keyword stuff as well. I like that. I like that. So I don't know if you know, but I have a secret thing that's not so secret that I recommend to everybody for transcribing. It's called otter.ai and it's free. It's freemium. So like, but I've never hit the paid and I take every video and put it in there. Separates the video from the audio from the text and it's machine learning. So it's, it's like bang yeah. on. So Which one is it? I've never heard of that one. Otter.ai. It's so good and to the point where now Zoom has partnered with them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and free. Did I say free? Mm. So I mean mm. I get up like they when we found them, we 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 won't go anywhere else. So and it'll yeah. it's you gotta check it out, guys. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and upload the trust, those uh the text as subtitles on your video as well. Then it's really optimized. Oh, okay. Hardly and anybody does that. That's an SSRT file, right? No, CSV file as well. That's SRT is for Facebook. Oh, okay, okay. So you just upload that file? Text file. Text file, yeah. And it'll match to the... Really? Wording is what you're saying, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, so what you have a challenge for everybody. Oh, and it says, can you put a link? Okay, yes, I'll definitely put a link, Lorna, to the otter.ai. No problem. Uh, we're going to have lots of links today. Um, guys, final questions because we want to hear uh, there's a challenge. I think there's a challenge being put out there. Yeah, the, the challenge I would say is um, just create your first video and put it in the group and get feedback, right, to get you started. doesn't matter if the, you know, um, it's a constructive criticism you might get if it's something which is not quite right, but at least you learn within the group and Pip, you've got a great group and I know everybody supports each other. So what better way to just create a 60 second video, who you are, what you do, and how you can help solve somebody's problems. Okay, I, now, love, I love that. So if, you, if anybody does that, you guys, you have a full week to do it. Any day of the week, you can do 60 seconds, right? Uh, and the winner, thank you, Karen. Karen put the link. Uh, to to otter in the notes um the winner greg what are we gonna give will greg and i will decide the winner it'll be we'll pick something out of a hat if you guys do it um and the winner is going to be an amazon gift card for twenty dollars yeah. and yeah. i can just send me the name and the details okay. and i'll have a little audit a 30 minute audit with them oh <gasps> oh my god that's wicked Okay, that's so cool. All right, guys, we are out of time. Uh, not sure about the question. I want to say, okay, now I need to ask you, how do I say your name correctly? Because I pronounce it my way. Don't. How do you say it? <laughs> oh, Ozar Karawala. Az Ozar. Ozar, okay. yeah. Ozar Kalabara. You guys got that. Go find him on YouTube. We're going to share some links so you can um, find him, learn with us because this is somebody I follow all the time and uh, we're out of here. Greg, you got questions? I saw that. I've, I've got I've got one more request oh. uh, to possibly um, suggest and you don't have to just do it verbally, but in the in the notes later on the video in the group, um, put maybe a link or a suggestion of um, an app for iOS and for Android for for doing for helping with the video editing if you have those suggestions well, I mean if you go to uh, the app store and there are millions of apps whichever you are comfortable with just go with that okay okay there's nothing yeah. you love best no i do i use adobe rush um that's the one i use the premiere rush okay. it's really good and how but yeah sorry 
How much is that? Is it? It's free. Okay. Well, I, I think with the free version, you can upload such, you know, the the length of the video, but the paid version is is not very expensive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are saying thank you to you for joining us. We're so we feel very fortunate to have gotten to uh, bend yeah. your ear a little. So. Oh, thanks for having me. Right. We'll see you guys next week, next Thursday at eleven. Oh, Greg, do you know what we're talking about? No, I don't know why you always ask me. <laughs> guys, every week, right? Every week. Okay, <laughs> I will tell you. This is a good one because this is about uh, our my our experience, right? So we're talking about uh, where is it? It is common best practices for web dev and developers and marketers. We see this all the time where uh, people sign businesses up under their own name and account. And we're going to talk all about that next week. How to do the best practices for your business. We'll see you next week, guys. Okay, bye. Bye, Ron. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Yeah, bye.